Question number 10, Fletcher Tabutau. Thank you, Mr Speaker. <coughs> to the Minister of Trade, does he stand by his statement in respect of the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement that we were never going to start the serious negotiations until it was showtime? And will this include the future of Fonterra? <coughs> The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Trade, uh, yes, I do stand by my statements on TPP. This includes the statement that further negotiations are needed to resolve the most difficult issues in negotiation, which includes market access for dairy. In respect of the second part of the question, if the member is referring to the structure of Fonterra, the way Fonterra operates, established in the dairy industry reforms of a decade ago, is not up for negotiation. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabuto. Uh, for clarification, sir, how does the Minister then reconcile the US Dairy Export Council's strong support for the TPPA fast track when its president speaking about Fonterra before a Senate inquiry said, and I quote, if this is going to be a high ambitious agreement in the 21st century, you need to reform the industry, which is creating a 90% market share for one company in the global market that the company controls... Order. About... Order. Supplementary questions must be concise. Bring the question to a conclusion very quickly, otherwise I will rule it out of order. Thank you, Mr Speaker. The, uh, the, Senate, uh, the uh, President was suggesting that uh, Fonterra has way too market, much market power by uh, law and is not, uh, therefore, um, should, be, should not be there order. for part... Order. Order. The question's now... It's... Debates clear after question time. If the question can be made out, order. I'm on my feet at the moment. If the minister can establish a question out of that, I invite the minister to answer it. Mr. Point Speaker. of order, Tracy Martin. Unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, because there is a direct quote from the um, hearings held around the TPPA. My colleague, my, the Minister would not be able to answer the question of my colleague without order, hearing the direct order, quote. Order. The Member needs to study standing orders. Standing Order 380 is quite specific how questions can be asked. That question is miles too long. I warned the, uh, the Member. He then continued with a long question of now giving the Minister the opportunity, if there are further supplementaries and they are of that length, I will simply rule them out of order. Order. Point of order. 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 Would all members resume their seat? Members resume their seat. Now, this may be a fresh point of order, in which case I'm happy to hear it. But if it is in any way a relitigation of a ruling I've just made in respect to that question, then I will treat it very seriously indeed. Ron Mark, fresh point of order. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Fully accept your ruling, sir. Second question, though, is going forward to help us, could you give us a word count so that we can check our supplementary Order. Before? Order. Member. Order. It is the last day before a break, so I will on this occasion be a little generous to the member. Published Hansard will be available at about 4.30. I suggest he just count it for himself. <laughs> Order. Order. No, the member will resume his seat. The question has been asked with some difficulty for me to decipher, but I'm going to give the minister a chance to answer it. If there are further supplementaries, we'll move from there. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Mr Speaker, on behalf of uh, the Minister of Trade uh, for the member, it is not the job of the New Zealand Minister of Trade to reconcile the statements of a US lobbying group, whoever they are. Uh, I stand by the answer to the primary question. Supplementary question. Fletcher Tabuto. Yes, supplementary question. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Would the Minister describe the stand by the US National Milk Producers Feder Federation as shadow boxing, given they stated after Fast Track was passed that the US dairy industry has been a strong advocate for the TPPA, with it previously telling the US international... Order. That will do. The question's been asked. That's again too long. Supplement uh, answer from the Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Trade, uh, the answer remains the same. It is not the job of the New Zealand Minister of Trade to reconcile the positions of any other uh, organisation that's uh, lobbying in favour of a particular outcome uh, in regards to a trade agreement. It's the New Zealand Minister of Trade's responsibility to lead the negotiation of the TPP. 
Supplementary question, Fletcher Tabutau. Actually, can I ask a point of order and seek your clarification, please, sir? Yes, you can. I've uh, sought to keep these questions within the bounds and um, structure of previous questions that I have asked in this House and have been allowed order. Uh, your order. discretion. The member's just summed it up perfectly for himself. I've noticed a habit whereby increasingly the questions that are asked by this particular member are far too long. I'm giving, I've given him the opportunity to shorten it. He hasn't taken my advice. He may well get the same treatment in the future. Has the member got a further supplementary, yeah, supplementary question? Supplementary please, question, Speaker. Fletcher Tabuto. Can the minister confirm to New Zealand farmers and consumers that under a TPP agreement, United States milk and meat products containing rectopamine and recombinant bovine growth hormone, both banned here in New Zealand, will not enter in New Zealand as stipulated by the EU? in its own free trade agreement with the United States. Again, marginal, but I'll allow it. Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Trade, um, there's all sorts of things uh, that, are that are being negotiated, including such issues as phytosanitary conditions and, and all the requirements on, uh, on uh, animal product health and so on. Uh, these negotiations are continuing. The Minister is not in a position to comment on individual items, except to say, in response to the primary question the member raised, is that the way Fonterra operates is not up for negotiation. Question number 11, Jackie Dean. 